Yes, has some pretty tricky questions in its arsenal. But the concepts tested are so simple that when you look at the solution, you'll feel like pulling at your hair that how could I miss something so simple? We'll see how. We'll start with two overlapping sets. So one of the major concepts in sets is the difference between people and instances. And once we understand this, our questions will become much simpler. In fact, even the maximum minimum questions of sets, they'll become extremely simple. So let's focus on this first. Now, number of people is not equal to number of instances normally. What that means is, say we have 100 people and say they are uh, members of club A. Not all of them. Let's say some of them. So, and of club B. Some of them are members of neither club. Now, say 60 people are members of club A and 50 people are members of club B out of these 100 people. Some of these are members of both the clubs. Now, what are instances? Inst uh, let's assume that the clubs give membership cards. So then these 60 people have been given a card A and these 50 people have been given a card B. Now, say 20 people are belong to both the clubs. So then these 20 people have two cards each. They have a card CA as well as a card CB. When we say instances, we are talking about the number of cards, not the number of people. Now, instances could be more than the number of people. They could actually be less than the number of people. Also, say if most people don't belong to any club, then the number of instances could be less also. But these are different things. We have people and we have only 100 people, but instances we have 110 because the total number of cards that we have are 60 plus 50, that is 110. Now, how are these 110 cards distributed among these 100 people is normally what our question is concerned with. So, let's say we know that 20 people are members of both the clubs. That means that these 20 people account for total 40 cards. That is 40 instances. 40 cards are now given away to the, these 20 people. What about the other 70 cards? They will be given away to one card to each person. Now, none of those people have two cards because we've already said that 20 people have two cards. So then that means that these 70 cards which are left after we subtract 40 out of these 110 are given to people who have only one club membership. Okay, so then we have 70 people who have only one membership. We have 20 people who have two memberships and that leaves us with 10 people who have no membership, right? And this adds up to give us 100. Now, this is what we represent on our Venn diagram. Our Venn diagram shows us the number of people. So let's say total number of people are 100. Now, if the number of people who are in club A are 60, which means that there are 60 people who have the membership of club A, then the membership of club A is owned by, let's say, 50 people. That means that there are 50 people here. Now note that these people are red as well as blue. They are not different, right? This Venn diagram represents the number of people. So these dots inside, they are red as well as blue. That is, they are members of club A as well as members of club B. Now, we know that there are 20 people over here who have the membership of both the clubs. So the, the overlapping part is 20. Then since 60 people have membership of club A and 20 have of both, there must be 40 people who have membership of only club A and not of B. And over here, there must be 30 people who have only membership of club B and not of club A. Overall, we have 60 people in club A and overall we have 50 people in club B. Now, if this were the case, then we have 40 people only in club A, 20 on, in both and 30 only in club B, which means we are left with 10 people. Where are they? Of course, they lie outside these circles because they belong to neither club. So we'll put 10 outside the two circles. So this entire area outside the circles, but inside our rectangle is 
depicted by these 10 people. There are these 10 people over here. Now, this is the concept of cells. Now, for example, if I'm asked, how many people belong to only one club? What will I say? We'll say that since 40 people belong to only club A and 30 people belong to only club B, there are 70 people who belong to only one club. Either A or B doesn't matter, but only one club. Now, if the question is that how many people belong to at least one club, that means that they could belong to both the clubs as well, but they must belong to at least one club. Then we know 40 belong to one club, 30 belong to one club, and 20 belong to two clubs. So number of people belonging to at least one club is 40 plus 30, 70 plus the 20 that belong to both the clubs also, which gives us 90. Now, let's take a look at an example. Of a group of 100 households, the number of households that have both at least one cat and at least one dog is 8. Okay, so let's draw this. We have 100 households. Let's say number of people who have at least one dog and at least one cat. And the number of households that have both. Both is given by 8. So this is 8. There are 8 households out of those 100. Note that in the Venn diagram we show a number of people. So there are 8 of these over here. All right. And the number of households that have no cats and no dogs is 28. So there are 28 people lying outside. They have no cats and no dogs. All right. So out of the 100, 8 are lying in this area. 28 are lying in this area. Then rest of it, 8 plus 28 is 36. And rest we are left with 64. So the 64 people that are left over would be lying in this area plus this area. Makes sense, right? All the 100 people have to lie inside our rectangle, right? Okay. Uh, how many have at least one cat or at least one dog? So they should be lying in one of these circles, but not both. So we, we are saying we need the number of people here or here, but not in this area. Well, we already said that the number of people lying here or here is 64. Because of the 100 people, 8 are lying inside here and 28 are lying here. That means 64 are lying in these two regions. So at least one cat or at least one dog. Now at least one cat, one dog just means that this set represents people who have one dog, two dogs, three dogs, whatever. doesn't matter. As long as they have one dog, they are in that set. That's all it means. Nothing else. So then... We are being asked about the number of people who lie in exactly one set, not in both. So exactly one set is, we found it as 64. Now it seems simple enough, right, when we do it, but otherwise using the formula, sometimes it can get really confusing. So try and use the Venn diagram whenever possible. But we should take a look at the formula as well. So the formula tells us, that total minus neither is equal to A plus B minus both. Now note that again, the formula is talking about the number of people, the total number of people, the number of people that belong to neither club, the number of people that belong to club A, number of people that belong to club B and number of people that belong to both the clubs. So total, total is this entire rectangle, which is our 100. Number of people in the entire rectangle is 100. Minus the number of people who are outside the two circles. So that we know is 10. Okay. Now is A, A is this entire circle, the entire blue circle, including the green region, the total number of people who are in club A. So that is equal to 60. 60 are the number of people, then these people who are in this green region are included. 
now plus b the number of people who are in club b so club b is this entire yellow circle along with the green part so of course these people who are in this 20 the green part they are included yet again becomes 50 minus both now note that when we said a number of people over here is 60 and then when we said b number of people over here is 50 we have counted the people who are in this green region twice we first counted them in 60 and then we counted them again in 50 and that is the reason why we remove them once now because the number of people of the 20 was included here as well as here but we need to include them only once right we are not talking about the number of instances we are talking about the number of people so we have to count them only once so there are 20 people in this green region and that is why we subtract it once out of it or these people are included in our total minus neither certainly but we should not include them twice the number of people are 20 only it is the number of instances that are 40 and that is the reason why we subtract it once out of it now this is the, and this as well is the number of people who are a part of at least one club who have the membership of at least one club these are the number of people yeah at least one club so understand the venn diagram and the two overlapping sets problems become extremely easy 